Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well. Today we're looking at dropping laser guided bombs with the Hornet. Today we will not be using our own targeting pod for lasing. Instead we will be using a third party laser. We've got a JTAC up there who's going to laze and mark for us because that's what you've requested. If you want to see how to use the laser guided bombs in conjunction with your own T-Pod laser then please check out the comprehensive T-Pod video that we've done showing how to do that. Also if you want to see in the mission editor how to set up an intelligent JTAC like we're going to be using today to laze different targets please look in our mission editor playlist and we also have that so there's our map we can use pylons two three seven and eight so we can carry four bombs and on each of those pylons we can carry gbu 10 that's a 2000 pound laser guided bomb the 12 is a 500 pound and the 16 is a 1000 pound so we're just going to go for the big one today and on seven we'll match that Notice that you can also carry a Brew 33 rack which carries 2 times GBU 12. Okay, we'll now take off and look for the target area. Okay, we've reached the AO now. We're going to wait for the Reaper drone to make contact with us. Let's turn our ATC on. Okay, he has found a new target. It's that type of vehicle, that code he's lazing on. And those are the coordinates. So let's get our weapon set up. So air to ground is on. Ensure that master arm is on. Select the weapon. Mode. We can drop this in auto, CCIP or manual. I'm just going to use CCIP because it's just easier to use for today. If you want a thorough description of those three modes, we have a video using unguided bombs showing those three modes. But it's just the same as using these bombs. So I'm going to go CCIP. Mechanical fuse. Must be set to off for a laser guided bomb. If you set it to any of these guys here, it just won't work. It won't explode. That's been changed recently. If that changes again... I shall let you know so off we've got our electronic fuse we're going to set this instant got that note that by default the bombs have xxxx or blank as their laser code so we need to set it to the same laser code as the reaper drone so we've got this guy selected here we're going to select code code 1688 enter step code code 1688 enter both weapons now have the code of 1688 that they're going to be looking for we've set the mode up we've set the mechanical we've set the e-fuse so we're all good to go so i've asked the reaper drone to mark with smoke to help me know where to drop it's, yep there you can see it so we're going to turn around okay tipping in now four to five hundred knots for the run-in for the ingress if you wanted to drop from high altitude you use uh, auto but we're going to use ccip dive bombing because i don't get to use it very often we don't have to be particularly accurate if we can get the drop point within a few hundred feet of the smoke then it should be accurate enough to pick the laser up okay it's about to appear and drop there's one bomb away let's pull out and check the bomb right hopefully we get some guidance here looks pretty good check ourselves quickly Kaboomy! Right, that's done. Now the JTAC is smoking and lazing the next target. So I'm just going to get a little distance and then we'll go around again. Okay, we're tipping in now. We're going to get 400 plus knots and then we go. Obviously pressing weapons release to actually drop the bomb. And drop. And we're away. Appear to have guidance. Kaboomy. Third target. Lovely. So that's how easy it is. Really super easy. Like I said, if you want to watch the video of how to laze with our own teapot, please go and watch the teapot video. Otherwise, hope that helps. See you later.